DiCaprio's crime movies starting with The Basketball Diaries or maybe after watching the movie I think it should be called The Life of a Teenage Boy or A Life of a Teenage Boy because that's what this whole movie is. I thought I wouldn't like this movie because it's set in like the whole teen angst stuff but no it's a movie that's relatable in terms of not maybe not the whole drug stuff and all that stuff but the whole being alone wanting to rebel because you don't want to do anything that forced upon you and then the whole addict stuff. I wasn't into drugs but I was very much addicted to Call of Duty Black Ops 2. My whole life essentially throughout like middle school and freshman year and sophomore year of high school that was my shit okay in this case running away and burying like grief because one of his friends bobby he dies from i'm assuming cancer because he has a bald head and there's this one scene where he takes him to a strip club which is like weird and awkward because you see this girl stripping doing her job and then bobby's really uncomfortable probably because he knows that his time is limited and he doesn't want to spend it in here he wants to spend it with his family or friends seemingly he has none aside from dicaprio and and Mark Wahlberg who's in his movie that's pretty much it and so after his death there's this domino effect of things going wrong left and right and at first the movie starts with DiCaprio and his friends at the top at their peak at their best and they eventually slowly but surely it just goes downhill and I thought the movie would end off with him either dead being very much alone which he already is throughout the whole movie he feels like after Bobby no one's really there for him and so because of that he gets into drugs him and his friends are already bad kids stealing from the other players like lockers and then beating them up and then riding on the bus without actually getting on the bus and without paying for it as well stuff like that and then it goes into the very dark territory of drugs of drug abuse and kind of the life that they have to live with and just experience new york or i guess brooklyn new york all of these women out there having sex for money and all that stuff the environment that they're in isn't great the cabro at one point is assaulted by his coat and then there's even one instance where it goes into the whole you know shooting of classmates and stuff like that even his own mom doesn't accept him she kicks her out because of all the drugs and so she won't even let him in at a certain point and he's crying for help crying out to his own mother and even her leaves her own son because she's got her own problems like her house and apartment that she's in it's not all that you know good it's all kind of torn up and kind of really bad and so instead of helping her own son it's like you know what i'll just get rid of you i don't want to deal with you being able to grieve over his friend bobby and pressing all those emotions and trying to cover it up with drugs but then you got reggie who is the best person in this character the savior because he's able able to help and get DiCaprio out of his whole situation help him out at first he's very against this DiCaprio wants to get out he needs his fix but slowly but surely Reggie's able to help him and you know get him back on his feet and so near the end he's giving a speech about his whole life Reggie's there for it in the dark clapping happy for him because he was able to help someone who was going through a grieving and being alone and not having anyone to go to at all and I didn't even know that this was based on a true story or a novel based on like a I guess true story yeah like Jim is an actual person but yeah this movie was good i liked it quite a bit i thought it was gonna be like a typical like teenagers are in trouble they're being teenagers i know it's actually about drug abuse being an addict living in an environment that's not the best for kids and just how to grieve over a lost friend and all that and then eventually getting out of that because one person was able to help you and then Catch Me If You Can, which is about DiCaprio running away from home. Which, you know what? I think this one and Basketball Diaries is about DiCaprio running away from what he truly feels. Or just kind of from reality and doing his own thing. And running away from home is essentially in these two movies. You got Tom Hanks chasing after DiCaprio, who's like the biggest con artist. After his parents get divorced, he doesn't like and So because of that, he runs away. He was very much close to his father because he taught him how to be like a con. And just kind of con their way out of checks and whatnot. He runs away and starts the life of a con artist and the amount of fraud and things that he gets away with is kind of crazy he fakes checks he's able to like fake being a fucking pilot which how do you do that how and at one point he's able to lie to tom hanks right in his face saying that his name is barry allen the fastest man alive or i guess conest man alive or something like that the fakest man alive and he's able to get away from that stuff like that are really good lying to everyone at first it actually doesn't work at first somehow get through the system and all that stuff the cat and mouse storyline that's really good but because of this eventually DiCaprio's connection to his mom and father slowly and surely just goes away he barely even knows them by the end of the movie his mother is already married to another man with his own daughter father he is long just forgotten about him played by Christopher Walken and so really he has no one else because of this con job and whatnot he only has Tom Hanks and throughout the movie he gives him a call when he has no reason to at all whatsoever and even Tom Hanks calls him out for it being like you got no one huh you lonely shit and it's like yeah I 
I guess, you know. In his head, he was probably like, yeah, that's true, but whatever. But stop following me because it's annoying. But he can't because he's like breaking all these laws and being a complete fraud. He has like $4 million in fraudulent checks and whatnot. And so he has to get caught. He needs to be punished. DiCaprio's also somehow to con his way into having sex with Jennifer Garner as well. It's like, how, man? Just how? Like watching this movie, I'm like, this kid, essentially, this like 13 year old, he is the luckiest person ever. But all of that has to come down because it eventually does. He is in another country. He's all shaken up. But by this point, Tom Hanks realizes that he's very much alone and intends to help this boy out because he too is also very much alone. Hanks is now divorced. He had a wife. He has a daughter, but he only sees her every now and then. And so he's kind of in the same mindset as DiCaprio. He needs someone to talk to. Why not this kid? And so this whole story and movie becomes a cat and mouse from two people that are very much in the same place. And by the end, they need each other and they still remain friends to this day because it's also another true story or true event. Two movies in a row where it's like based on true events, quote unquote. So DiCaprio is able to serve time in prison or not even prison, but in solitary confinement for 12 years. After that, he's able to build himself up, go through all of these things and actually become, you know, not a fraudulent person. He has a wife now with three kids and everything. And he's much more happier because his mom and dad, they were going away. He felt alone. They weren't really there for him. And so throughout this whole process and cat and mouse chase, him and Tom Hanks become friends or more like father and son throughout this whole case. And that was it for DiCaprio's crime movies. Again, I very much like both of these movies for very different reasons. Obviously, basketball stories, teenage years of like being an addict, like no one's there to back you up, all that stuff. But like everyone goes through that. Catch Me If You Can is kind of the same thing where DiCaprio is playing a character, obviously different, a con artist, but he's running away because he feels alone until he finds Tom Hanks and is able to con his way throughout everything. And you know what? I actually forgot about one thing. He was able to become a teacher, like a substitute teacher for some reason somehow some way and i thought it was funny because earlier those kids were bullying him and so he's able to use that and be like guess what i'm your teacher shut up read in front of your class and behave that whole part was funny and would be the start of the conning so that is it for me this has been the road so far and thank you for watching